On today's episode of Photo Joseph Live Training for Filmic Pro, we were looking at the focus, exposure, and zoom controls that you have inside of the camera for manual exposure, focus, and zoom, including how to do pulls, how to do automatic pulls from one focus point or exposure point or zoom point to another. It's not the easiest, most obvious thing in the world to set up, but in this lesson, you'll learn exactly how. Uh, here's a few moments of the class for you to see. You can see the range of exposure by looking at the arc itself. So you see the shadowed arc, and if I position, if I get the exposure right about here up in the top left corner, you can see the edge of that. So that would be, if I take it all the way down to the bottom, now I realize you can't really see the arc anymore. Well, you kind of can, barely. Um, you can see that I've hit an edge there, I can't go any farther. Tap on that top line, and it does the pull, the exposure pull. Now I'm gonna tap on the bottom line, and it does the pull to it. That little white handle has just been revealed, changes my exposure pull speed. If I'm going to be doing that transition from uh, panning across the room from indoors to outdoors, I'm probably gonna want a pretty quick exposure change as I point at the window and have it quickly change. And so I'd be holding it, panning the shot, getting ready to tap on that thing. And just as I get to the window, tap it and have it make the transition. Or from walking from indoors to outdoors, maybe I want it to be a slower transition. Tap the lower line and it does the pull. Do it again, tap on the bigger line up top and it does the pull the other way. There we go, we're doing those pulls. So I've got my zoom pulls, my focus pulls, and my exposure pulls. And that's it. So that's really all there is to it. If you want to see that training in its entirety, head to photojoseph.com slash LT1904 or just scroll down below and click the link there. It'll take you right to that page. Remember that live training is free while live, but then after that, it does go behind the members only area at photojoseph.com. So if you want access to this live training and all the other live training we've done, the best way to do that is to become a member. Go over to photojoseph.com slash member to learn all about that. If you just want an individual course, you can, of course, download those individually as well. Thanks. We'll see you next time.